Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole little Kim and Mano situation. We had a really good discussion about this other day on my Instagram page. And like I told you guys, I was not feeling this at all. Um, there's about three different parts to this video, so I kind of want to break everything down. So if you guys don't know, three days ago, Little Kim was awarded a proclamation to the city of New York. And so they were rewarding her for like all her hard work, her music, just everything that she's done for the city. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Mano just runs up, interrupts, you know, what the people are saying about her, whoever was doing the speaking, interrupts them and then he starts speaking and basically says the same thing that was already being said about little Kim. So at that point, that just like irritated me. Her security got up and kind of surrounded her, but nobody escorted him away whatsoever. But now what was even more disturbing is that in the next video, you see Mano say something to her and um, he's basically, you know, touching her and she's just really uncomfortable. She's trying to swat his hand away. And then in the final video, you know, he's up there talking again and saying, well, little Kim doesn't talk to me. And so she plays it off. She snatches her award from him and basically says, you know, he's crazy. You know, she tries to laugh it off. And a lot of people are seeing this as no big deal, but I'm not feeling this whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these video clips. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, she's a legend. She is the real queen. Come here and do that, right? They're gonna ask me to come here and do that. Thank you. They're gonna let me do it. Oh, shoot. Let them know, Mayno. Okay, Mayno, sir. Check this out. Brooklyn. I wanna talk about the little lady that I know from Best Stop Brooklyn. You understand what I'm talking about? The biggest, baddest chick in the game. Inspired me. Help me. Anybody that know anything about me know I come from Kim House. Yes. You understand? I came from Kim House. I went on to do my own thing. But you talking about somebody that's been a legend in, in not only hip hop, but in fashion. In yeah, Kim! Yeah, Kim. Yeah, Mano. Yeah, Brooklyn. Straight, straight. Go to the left. Go to the left. She's the queen of hip hop. Real. First lady. Always. The realest person. Real. Genuine people should care about the fans. A grand for artistry. And this is truly our queen of hip hop. So I just want to pay my homage to. And if anybody deserves a compliment to the city, that is you. Oh my God. We're not speaking right now. We're still loud. You're speaking right now. No, he's right because he's crazy. But anyway, I just want to say thank you. And I'm just going to say this, right? Thank you. Use us. Use us in the industry. We have a voice and we want to represent our town, our city. I want to say thank you to Jerry. May it don't build the block. There you go. Kim, right over here. One, two, three. Everyone look over here. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Mano acting a damn thirsty ass fool. Now y'all remember his old ass song, Hi Haters. That was the most popular Mano song. He literally embodied that song at that moment, okay? Hi haters, hi haters, hi haters, you see me. That was Little Kim's moment, and Mano made it about him. Now, at one point in time, they were allegedly dating. There were rumors that they were going to get married, and Little Kim shut down those rumors. And since then, they've had some type of falling out. Why they fell out, I don't know. It's not my business. My issue is how he carried himself in this situation and how he treated that woman, okay? One, as we all know, Little Kim has been in a lot of abusive relationships. She's been through a lot with guys. 
So to me, from reading her body language, she was definitely very uncomfortable with him touching on her, with whatever he said to her. You could tell she kind of froze up. But I will give little Kim kudos. She held her own. She was still respectful. You know, she just kind of played it off. She let him get his little moment, but then she was able to bring it back around to her. But I just was not feeling that. That's not how you behave. And if you're really a true friend to Kim, then you should have let her have her moment. He had no business running up there. And my thing is, what the hell? was security's point why has security if they're not going to do their job as soon as they seen him coming up there he should have been attacked and bum rushed point blank period that was her moment he should have not been allowed to get up there get that close disrupt and interrupt her moment I just was not feeling that. His arrogance was just disgusting to me. The fact that he was holding her plaque, he was holding her award, and he was just talking and making it all about him. She's not talking to me right now. We're not really on speaking terms. Who gives a fuck? Nobody woke up that morning thinking about Mano and Little Kim's relationship. Everybody came there to see Little Kim, and he had no business being on that stage. You know what I'm saying? I respect Mano as an artist. I respect Mano for having always kept it real. But in this particular situation, Mano, I'm not feeling this at all. I felt like not only was it distasteful, it was extremely disrespectful. And Kim is a good one, okay? She really is. She handled that well. Because had she been a lesser woman, she could have cussed his ass out or made security whoop his ass and pull his ass off stage. But she didn't do that. She held her composure, and she carried herself like a true queen. So so anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I want to know y'all's opinion on this entire situation. Are you guys feeling what Mano did to little Kim? And then how do you feel about that video where he was touching on her and you could tell that she was clearly uncomfortable? Do you feel like it was just a joke? It's no big deal. Or do you feel like he definitely overstepped his boundaries and he better hope that he doesn't end up in a damn Me Too hashtag, okay? Folks love to Me Too people, so Mano needs to be very, very careful and watch the moves that he's making because everything he did on that stage was totally uncalled. For. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Little Kim and Mano. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.